One of the world's most respected and widely recognized theoretical physicists, Michio Kaku, has recently spoken about a discovery that may redefine how we understand the birth of the universe itself. A discovery made possible not by speculation, not by theory alone, but by direct observation, through the unprecedented power of the James Webb Space Telescope. For decades, Kaku has worked at the frontier of physics, where classical laws begin to break down and quantum reality takes over. He is known for embracing ideas that once sounded impossible, until evidence demanded they be taken seriously. Unlike scientists who tread carefully around established models, Kaku has always believed that science advances only when we are willing to challenge our deepest assumptions. And now, the data arriving from Webb demands exactly that courage. Because what Webb has seen was never expected. Astronomers have detected six massive galaxies hidden deep within the early universe. Not faint smudges. Not fragile protostructures. But enormous, dense, fully assembled galaxies. Galaxies so large, so evolved, and so unexpectedly mature that according to modern cosmology, they should not exist at all. Each of these galaxies rivals, and in some cases exceeds, the size and mass of our own Milky Way. But size is only part of the mystery. The true shock lies in time. These galaxies appear to have formed just 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. A moment when the universe was barely beginning to take shape. An era when space itself was still violently expanding. Temperatures were extreme. Matter was unstable. Cosmic order had not yet emerged. According to the standard model, this was a chaotic age. Stars were only starting to ignite, their first nuclear fires just flickering into existence. Vast clouds of hydrogen and helium were slowly collapsing under gravity's weak grip. Galaxies, if they existed at all, should have been tiny, irregular, and incomplete. Barely more than cosmic sketches. Yet Webb reveals something entirely different. These galaxies appear massive, structured, densely packed with stars, and astonishingly well organized. Not scattered. Not primitive. But mature. Their presence suggests that complex structure emerged far earlier than theory allows. And this is where the problem begins. Because the universe, according to current calculations, simply did not have enough time to build objects of this scale. Kaku emphasizes that this is not a small discrepancy, it is a profound contradiction. If these galaxies truly exist as observed, then our understanding of how matter assembles into stars, into galaxies, into structure itself is fundamentally incomplete. Either the universe is older than we believe, giving these galaxies more time to grow, or the processes that form galaxies operate far faster, far more efficiently, and far more aggressively than any current model predicts. Both possibilities strike at the heart of the Big Bang Theory. A theory that has guided cosmology for nearly a century. A theory now facing one of its greatest tests. And this discovery forces an unavoidable question. Have we misunderstood the early universe? Or are we standing at the edge of a new chapter in cosmic history? The response from the scientific community has been divided, and in some cases, deeply emotional. Some researchers respond with careful skepticism. Others urge patience and restraint. A few dismiss the findings outright, arguing that the results must be flawed. But Michio Kaku offers a warning. Skepticism, he says, is not the enemy of science, it is essential to it. But dismissal without investigation halts discovery before it even begins. Science does not advance through authority, tradition, or intellectual comfort. It advances when evidence forces theory to evolve. History is filled with examples. There was a time when the universe was believed to be eternal and unchanging. 
There was a time when galaxies beyond the Milky Way were thought impossible. The Big Bang theory itself emerged from disruption. When astronomers observed that distant galaxies were moving away from us, the idea of an expanding universe redefined reality. Later confirmations followed, the cosmic microwave background, precise redshift measurements, and increasingly accurate observations. Together, they built a powerful cosmological framework. Yet now, these six massive galaxies introduce an uncomfortable complication. They appear far more mature, far more structured, than the theory allows at such an early time. To understand why this matters, we must understand redshift. Redshift occurs when light stretches to longer wavelengths as space itself expands. It is the cosmic echo of a siren lowering in pitch as it moves away. In astronomy, redshift becomes a ruler, measuring both distance and age. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected extreme redshifts from these galaxies. This places them firmly within the universe's first billion years. Earlier telescopes, including Hubble, could not see this far back with clarity or precision. Webb's infrared vision, however, cuts through cosmic dust, capturing faint ancient light that has traveled over 13 billion years. For the first time, humanity is directly observing the universe during its infancy. And what we are seeing defies expectation. These galaxies are forming stars at an extraordinary rate, hundreds every single year. A pace that dwarfs the Milky Way's present-day star formation. Such intense activity so early in cosmic history was never predicted. Naturally, serious questions follow. Could the measurements be wrong? Could redshift estimates be misinterpreted? Could unseen biases be influencing what we see? Scientists are testing each possibility carefully. But Kaku insists that anomalies must be confronted, not ignored. Because history teaches a powerful lesson, revolutions in science often begin as inconvenient data. From Kaku's perspective, the universe is far more dynamic and complex than any single theory can describe. Einstein and Newton gave us extraordinary foundations, but not final answers. These galaxies may hint at unknown processes, perhaps even new physics, operating in the early universe. Now, the scientific community faces a defining choice. Hold tightly to familiar models, or confront the possibility that the early universe evolved far faster, far more violently, and far more creatively than we ever imagined. If these observations are confirmed, textbooks will change. Simulations will be rewritten. Timelines will be re-evaluated. Kaku reminds us that science is never static. Theories are tools, temporary maps, not absolute truth. They evolve as evidence grows. The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a window into the unimaginable. Each galaxy is a message from deep cosmic time, a clue to how stars formed, how structure emerged, and how the universe became what it is today. This discovery is both a challenge and an invitation. A reminder that the universe still surprises us. And as Webb continues to scan the heavens, humanity watches, questions, and learns, aware that every answer only reveals how much more remains.